Hey everybody, what is going on? We are going to continue with Mass Effect 3. Um, I believe this video set is going to be mostly filled with galaxy map stuff after that uh, main, pretty big main mission we just did last time. Uh, I ended up going about 20 minutes over my usual uh, recording time, but visiting the Citadel beforehand didn't really help with that. But uh, that only took up about 9 minutes or so, 9 or 10 minutes, so the other 40 minutes was doing that main mission. So, uh, I believe, um, I believe we're gonna have a lot of galaxy map stuff to do. You have anything to say? Alrighty. Do I, am I popular? Ooh, three messages. I am fucking popular today. By General Corinthus. <clears throat> uh, when you first arrive on Minet, I had a hard time seeing how you flying off with one of our... Uh, with one of our best generals, generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I watched Turian and Krogan fighters working together to make to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I am impressed. You've brokered an alliance that many thought impossible. Palavin might be saved after all. With great respect, General Corinthus, Minet Command. I'm gonna assume it's Minet. I, I shouldn't even try to pronounce this crap. Erdnot Reeve, Shepard. Don't usually type. I yell, so consider this message a rare honor. You proved yourself a worthy ally of the Krogan, maybe a worthy enemy when this war is over. After we destroy the Reapers, our empire, our empire will rival the Asari or Turians. We have you to thank for that. Retribution will be swift and without mercy. Doubt the Alliance will just go along with it, though. Maybe they'll send you after me. You get time to prepare, then we see who's the better soldier. Headed to Palavin now to show the Turians how to fight a war. Consider letting them twist in the wind, but that would take a glorious victory away from my men. Fight or die. Man, he's definitely, uh... He's definitely, uh, grammar educated. Uh, Dalatras Linron. Dalatras. Commander, I'm deeply disappointed by your actions on Tuchanka, as I thought I made clear carrying the genophage would have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat has passed, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly, undoubtedly seek revenge for the genophage, and the Salarian Union will be among the first, their first targets. When that day comes, Commander, my the blood of my people will be on your hands. I am ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrifices life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day not only for my people, but all of galactic civilization. <laughs> Fuck you, lady. Bitch. Uh, but, uh, I think I may record maybe just one session today, or tonight, because it's, uh, currently 12.20 a.m., so... Um, I think those two start telling jokes here in a second. Some of them are actually pretty funny, but, uh, I think I might only record, like, one session today, because I want to do some audio tests and, audio tests, and, uh, see if I can do something new and less, uh, pain in the assy, but, uh, let's, uh, listen to their jokes. Alright, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? <clears throat> I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? A friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. <laughs> Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? 
Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavan. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. Damn, Garrus is good at these. Man, I think Joker was the only one to miss one. Should I talk? I don't even really want to talk to him. Just, uh, I just remember those jokes from last time. I had to share that with you guys. Those were, those were pretty funny. Alright. Time to do some galaxy map stuff. Chief Engineer Adams would like to talk to me down in engineering, huh? Alrighty, what does he want? Better be important. I got important galaxy map stuff to be doing right now. I don't like being delayed. No one likes it when I'm delayed from galaxy map stuff. That's the best part of the freaking game. Freaking jerk ass. I also uh, plan on uploading a video that's gonna <clears throat> take a while to upload because it's like a... I don't even remember how long it is, but it's gonna take a while to upload because I, hopefully I can get it on Yosh or Yosh or I don't even fucking know. What the pronunciation is? What's up? Commander, I've identified a problem with our engines. A core overload could cause a plasma vent within the engineering compartment. Evie and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. I'm confident we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. I remember doing that little side quest last time, but uh, I don't remember how I did it. I just went to, I believe I just went to talk to him and uh, due to my, uh, there to my surprise, it was, I was turning it, turning in a side quest. I was like, oh, hey, cool, I don't remember getting that, but cool, yay, awesome, yay. So I was, I was pretty happy about that, but, uh, whatever. I was also planning on doing a, uh, a Mass Effect 3 Lady, the Adventures of Lady Shepard walkthrough. That's what I was planning on calling it, where I play as, uh, Lady Shepard, I believe her name is Jane Shepard, or something like that. So I thought I would uh, do a walkthrough on that, because there are some slight differences. You know, uh, going from a penis to a pair of boobs and a vagina. Um, so, of course that's not the only difference, there's you know, other stuff too, I'm, I'm sure. But, uh, oh, hey, that was added. Let's see, oh, wait, okay, this one... Uh, what is this? Is this uh, Cerberus Fighter Base? All right. Um, uh, I'm just trying to uh, get my bearings here, but uh, we need to do that one. Not the. I need to pay attention more. Um, this one, the Attican Beta. That one won't have anything. 100% on that one, 100% on that one, and 100% on that one. So we have two new places to do. We will go to this one first. It's closer. Alrighty. What do we got here, huh? What do we got over here? Ah, uh, this planet's got something. What are you? I'm not even gonna try to pronunciate this crap. Right, where is it? Where is your treasures? I want your treasures. I don't want to travel to the other side of a freaking planet to get them. They just need to be right in front of me, basically. <laughs> Book of Plenix. An artifact. That's some good stuff. 33%, are you fucking kidding me? My god, there's probably like, what, two more things here? Well, here's one. Oh, this planet looks like lime green. What the fuck is this? Hurts my eyes. Hey, I like this planet. 
didn't take me long at all to find this, uh, Volus Fabrication Units. That's cool. 